how's it going everyone so we got the new version of apple carplay and in this video i'm going to go ahead and share with you all the newly added features that's expected to come out on ios 26 and so in case you missed it apple this morning released the developer beta which is now available to download public beta will be released on july and it will become officially released for everybody else sometime during the fall now the compatible devices are listed right there it looks like apple did drop the the 10s as well as the 10s max unfortunately that's no longer supported now if you have an iphone 11 or newer you will be receiving ios 26 and of course i'll have timestamps of everything in the description down below for your pleasure let's talk about the newly added stuff and one of the most requested things about Car apple carplay is we finally have black icons now this was a hint previously on ios 18 where apple finally gave us the ability to customize our icons it is now officially available and you'll be able to find it in the settings section and if you look closely the settings app on carplay has been redesigned as well and to find this just simply go to appearance and go down to new the new tab which is customize icons and here you could take the default one or you could utilize the cool like liquid glass icons and you can select between dark mode or auto as well so even the glass icons have a dark mode and by simply doing this here you see all our apps have that cool transparent effect and i gotta say looks absolutely amazing another thing you may have noticed is the ui here on the side have been redesigned as well it's curvier it still features that liquid glass design but i think it's kind of cool but as we switch between different pages if you look closely underneath here it has like this fade animation but even in this like main display right here for a car plate if you move one over this is where you can find your widgets another another high request feature we were requesting for like the longest time for car play we now have it available right here and you can actually customize it. it instructs you how to do that go on your iphone go in general and car play and you can customize the widgets you'd like to see here everything from weather live activity so if you're like tracking a flight for your friend family member or something like that just a general example or maybe movie tickets uh, or concert tickets you can monitor it right here we're going to hit continue over here and now we have this clock widget and then we could toggle between our calendar events our media and that's about it additionally other new things that you can find here is the redesign on some of these apps so podcast still looks very similar to ui and this one is not too crazy or out of the ordinary what is kind of crazy is the message now I'm going to blur some of this stuff because I don't want to leak somebody's phone number. But here's a quick overview on how the new message app looks like. Your favorite pin ones on top, they'll be located above here as well. It's just like it is on your iPhone. So that's pretty cool. In addition to that, whenever you receive a notification, you can now react to them too, from my understanding. Let's check out other apps. So here we have the music app. Totally new redesign layout as well right here. The home page now actually will look more close to like closely to how it looks like on the iPhone side of things, which is kind of cool. It's nice and categorized as well where you have new radio and library. I believe it's giving us more options than ever before. Now playing looks slightly updated where previously this icon used to be on the very bottom. So if you like to share a car play, you still have the QR code access as well as you have the ability to enable uh, discoverable by nearby contacts since uh, you have passengers in here they can also wirelessly connect to carplay and become a dj that's pretty cool but it also features that cool liquid glass effect that you see right here but exiting out of here our siri icon let's see how that looks like we do have the 2.0 siri which is kind of cool with a weird ring animation audiobooks look like this and i think i've noticed whenever you click on an app just like a cool bubble effect i don't know if you noticed that that's kind of cool but if we check out other native apps from apple like the news app this looks very similar to like the previous one and then here's the calendar app also features that translucent effect with the uh, glass liquid glass that they're talking about but now let's go ahead and move into the settings now I want to explore this because this is my first time also exploring this as well. You still have your drive focus mode to activate uh, your announced messages. Nothing really has changed here. You could silent new messages. This hasn't really been updated. But down here where appearance, this is where you switch between automatic. But a thing I have noticed just right now is the 
on and off switch. It's larger than previously. It used to be the traditional more circular icon. Now it looks like this. That's kind of interesting. And of course the customized icons as well. You have three different icons to choose from finally. So we finally have the ability to customize those icons. And then in terms of new wallpapers, there is one new wallpaper that got added and this is also how the layout looks like as well. It's this one right here which follows that glass effect it looks like i believe we actually had it on by default actually it looks very similar to the previous one but this is a new wallpaper and it also features a night mode as well so if we quickly go get out of here and change our appearance to automatic oh this is how the daylight looks like so we were in dark mode not bad i will personally keep the dark mode i think it looks better with the black interior vehicle but scrolling down in the accessibility tab, we still have the color filter, the text size. You can now change the percentage to the exact percentage as you see right here. Well, not the exact, but they give us the percentage of how much we like to enlarge our text. Uh, just funny thing is I noticed that this is kind of glitched still. I'm sure Apple will fix it over time. Moving out of that, bolded text, you can still bold them. Physical and water, so you could do voice controls, so you verbally just command, control CarPlay by just using verbal commands. It even tells you how to do this once you enable it. It does like a brief description on how to control everything. So simply just say open the name of the app, scroll down, tap, you want to use. So let's give that a quick demonstration. So if I say open music, and it just takes us to the music app. That works, just like it previously did. And then sound recognition, let's see if we still have sirens. So by enabling this, you could enable it. So yeah, it detects sirens, car horn, but a newly added one I just, that we see right here is baby crying. So you can now enable it. So now by enabling this, it will actually notify the CarPlay unit that a baby is crying. I guess CarPlay can now detect that and uh, alert you right then and there. I think that was kind of cool. I didn't, wasn't expecting Apple to add that. Exiting out of there, Apple Intelligence, we still still looks very similar to like the previous one. I don't see anything new here, but in the live activities, this is where you could go in and enable this. And with live activities enabled, I just realized something. Live activities can now also show up right here. But let me see, I still have the flight being tracked on my phone. And it doesn't seem like it's tracking, it's showing us anything here. Let me see if I can select a different plane. This time a commercial airline. There we go. I have live tracking enabled, but it's not showing on the home page of CarPlay. But maybe in the near future, it will add it. But it's supposed to have like a separate, like a new section right here. Or maybe the screen of my vehicle is too small. I guess we'll find out tomorrow when I make the updated version on a new G-Wagon tomorrow. I'll upload that video. But in silent mode, nothing has really changed here. Uh, we still have the three settings that we previously had from iOS 18. And then when you get incoming calls, this is how the new UI looks like for those incoming calls. And you can decide to accept or deny. So that's been updated. But in conclusion, this is definitely a nice update of CarPlay. It's not the Apple CarPlay Ultra that's available on selected vehicles. But that's basically everything new on Apple CarPlay. I'll be sure to make a more in-depth follow-up video to this in the next few beta updates. Feel free to comment down below if you have a request you want to see Apple add on a next beta update. My personal request is I wish to finally have the ability to stream YouTube or other streaming platforms off your vehicle's head unit. Other manufacturers allow you to do that with, with their main operating systems so long as the vehicle is in part i don't see why apple can't do the same but who knows maybe that's a possibility that could change in the near future because we are still in the beta stage maybe beta 2 beta 3 or beta 5 we finally have that ability so crossing our fingers anyways there you guys have it. if you wish to watch more maybe you haven't checked out this video over there where i show you all the cool hidden features that apple carplay has to offer including a clever way to disable the auto play music ability whenever you get in your car i show you a creative way to disable that in that video over there Thank you so much for watching.